And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you an improved text zoom effect. Yesterday I thought it was a good idea to split these videos up. I think it wasn't a good idea. So here we are now. And we'll go over the first part. It is similar to what we did yesterday in my text zoom video. So we have footage. I cut it and make that five seconds. We'll work on this shorter clip. That's enough. And now we we'll create the text zoom first. We'll start with a default text element. Type in a city name. What could this be? Let's say Toronto. I don't really know if it is, but it could. Use a font that's a little bit thicker, maybe this one, and you may want to add the bold style on top. This is the start position, so position the text where you want it to be from the beginning. And make the clip invisible. Doesn't matter where you are here. And the timeline, as long as the text is visible, then go to export still frame right here. Now we go to media and import this still frame. So I have it on my desktop, put it here. I delete the default text, make the footage visible again. Then add this still frame, make it as long as my footage. This is active in the timeline and I go to blend, which is checked and I change the mode to multiply. Now we add the zoom animation with the scaling. Start with a keyframe here at the start position, fully to the left. And then we'll go to 500. And go maybe to this position here. So 500. I add a new keyframe. And I go to the end. And here I make it maybe 3000. We'll try. I have to reposition that a little bit. Because we want to end on the text so that the footage is fully visible. Therefore, we we'll go to this keyframe and create an animation for position. Go to the end and you drag it a little bit to the left. And you can see the scaling wasn't big enough. We we'll have to scale it up even further. Maybe 4000%. And I reposition it a little bit to the left. Let me roll it so we have a slow zoom and here in the end it speeds up and repositions. We can even drag this keyframe a little bit to the right. So this is a little bit slower and then it speeds up even faster. So in essence we need three keyframes. The first one with 100%, then the second one 500% and the last one, this is for the speed up effect. I've made this 4000. And here for the second and the last, you want to adjust the position so that you end on a full footage screen. So this is where we were in yesterday's video, but you can improve the results by adding a slight zoom to the footage below. So here at the start point, we can scale this down and make it not too small. You want to see the text, depending on the text size that you've got, that's around 60, 70%. In my case, 64. I create a keyframe and then you have to guess a little bit. Then we maybe go to this position and create another keyframe and I scale it up to 100%. We check. And that's not a good position. So what I want is then the text is always visible and the footage scales up with it. Let me try 100% at this position and I delete the keyframe up here. I'll check it again. It's better, but it cuts into the T and the O at the end. You can see that here. So we have to drag this keyframe a little bit to the left. And this is what I mean by guessing. You have to find a good position, but this actually looks fine. We play it again. And I think we can live with that. So this would be the first part. Here is 100%. And now we can go to the end, add another keyframe, and then slightly scale this up even more, maybe to 110, so 110% at the end. And I'll roll it again. And now 
this scales up and zooms basically through the text. And the footage below is scaled up a little bit, which adds to this effect and gives it a little bit of a zoom as well. Sorry about not adding that to yesterday's video. As I've said, for some reason yesterday, I thought it would be a good idea to split it up. But when I create these text zoom effects, I like to add this light scaling to the footage. I think it makes the effect look even better. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.